Oh, no, no. What's going on, people? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more esports talk. Some terrible news hit the internet just yesterday. That being an official update from Halo Infinite and going to be delayed until 2021. The hype around this was certainly building as the impending release and launch coming November for the Xbox Series X. And one of the biggest titles to be launched alongside it was set to be Halo Infinite, which we've seen a lot of people talk about, right? The return of Halo esports to the limelight, to the mainstream esports scene. Along with that, a bunch of speculation or organizations and players who could return or actually be joining some big teams as Halo Esports does kind of have that resurgence possibility and now this announcement because of COVID the outbreak and maybe some behind the scenes issues with the release of gameplay we already saw a bunch of backlash about this game and and yes it's been countered here and there but certainly as one of the bigger parts of the launch of the Xbox Series X being Halo this announcement disappointed a lot of people and I would say rightfully so. As Chris Lee did state today I want to share an important Halo Infinite development update with the community. We have made the difficult decision to shift our release to 2021 to ensure the team has adequate time to deliver a Halo game experience that meets our vision. The decision to shift our release is a result of multiple factors that have contributed to development challenges including the ongoing COVID related impacts affecting us all this year. I want to acknowledge the hard work from our team at 343 Industries who have remained committed to making a great game and finding solutions to development challenges. However, it is not sustainable for the well-being of our team or the overall success of the game to ship it this holiday. We know this will be disappointing to many of you and we all share in that sentiment. The passion and support the community has shown over the years has been incredible and inspiring. We wanted nothing more than to play our game with the community this holiday. The extra time will let us finish the critical work necessary to deliver the most ambitious Halo game ever at the quality we know our fans expect. Thank you for your support and understanding. And man, oh man, it just, uh, it hurts, right? Whenever this kind of thing does happen, this delay, I kind of vice versa think of Valorant which was certainly by a lot of eyes out there rushed early on this past summer and right as the COVID and pandemic did hit it definitely saw its string of issues to kind of combat with now they've actually handled those issues I would say most of the issues pretty well still have some things here and there because as a rising esport and many people continue to actually expect a lot out of Valorant yeah you're going to run into issues when it comes time for 343 Studios and the release of Halo Infinite being delayed until 2021 instantly people either think think of obviously the good side of this you don't want to rush out the game with a bunch of hiccups a bunch of issues that people will complain about and the flip side of that people are concerned if your game is in such a bad state that you cannot release it until 2021 are there other issues and concerns that you know are, are definitely going on and of course forcing the delay obviously going to be a flip side discussion about both of this but i think overall halo being delayed until 2021 does suck but when it's here, I'll keep on breaking it down because there are plenty of players and plenty of esports organizations that maybe do want to pursue it as an esport or even as, you know, as content as many good games are being released. Speak of the devil, we actually had a lot of people out there talking about Halo and a need for a battle royale. Not the only kind of BR needed for Halo as well. We've had Courage, we've had Nade Shot, we've had NG, NV Hastro. Also, ironically enough, Dr. Disrespect calling for that. And speak of the devil himself, Dr. Disrespect. It seems a plan all along, which I'm certainly going to make some speculation about his ties to Rogue Company with his gigantic return to YouTube and, of course, the gigantic numbers following with. He certainly has had some ties beyond the Rogue partnership that many streamers out there have with the game Rogue Company. As within 24 hours of him being back, he is now a announced a potential partnership to make a map inside that game within a further 24 hours he's been accepted and his map known as the arena is apparently being drawn up to be played out in the actual game which is pretty remarkable in itself to think about obviously something behind the scenes was already being done and that's why this is all happening so fast there is no chance that doc tweets out of these guys yo can i get a map and five minutes later they're like yeah we check with the dev team that sounds good to <laughs> like that. that just doesn't happen but either way it is still very cool even further than that this is complete speculation but someone did tweet me this and it does make you think a part of the doc universe and his future brands what he wanted to do was the doc universe comic books merch hollywood movie video games is it possible just an open-ended question for all of you guys do you think doc himself could be placed inside a video game like rogue company as one of their characters huh this is fake, but, but it does spark a lot of thought about what Doc and his team did one upon his return to be the next big thing. That would probably be the next step. Besides just making your own map inside a game, how about being a character inside a game? That would be 
pretty mind blowing, right? We have the ninja skin in Fortnite. That was pretty big stuff, but it, uh, I think this would be equally, if not bigger, with a guy like Doc as well. And we have plenty of players and personalities out there getting their own tournaments now, you know, like Nick Merckx and a lot of Fortnite personalities and pro players getting their own cups and tournaments too. Could this take it to the next level with the Doc making an, an in game appearance as a character? I, I think it would. What do you guys think about that? Either way, until next time, hope you all enjoy. Drink that water, drink that coffee. I'll catch you guys back here, as always, sometime very soon.